Hi everyone, this is Ryan from Zoom. Today, we're going to take a look at creating a new patch on the G11 Multi-Effects processor. The G11 has 100 preset patches. You could use one of these patches, adjust the settings in the patch to get your sound desired, or make a completely custom one from scratch. Let's create a new patch for a high gain lead sound. First, we'll want to power the G11 on and use the bank and patch foot switches to navigate to an empty patch on the device. From the factory, the empty patch slots will begin on bank Z, patch number 101. To start our patch and create a base tone point, we'll select and add an amp model. From the G11's main screen, select change amp slash effect and press the amp block in the effects chain. This will open the amp selection list to choose from. You can scroll through this list using the touch screen. Pressing an amp model will apply it to the patch and can be auditioned while on this menu. For this patch, let's select the Krampus model. With that choice selected, we can press the OK button at the top right hand side of the screen to add this to our patch. This brings us back to the change amp slash effects screen. From here, we can apply a cab simulation or IR to complete our amp selection. From this screen, we can select the effect block directly to the right of our amp model and we'll open the amps and effects screen. This will bring up our different effect models available on the G11. For this patch, let's add an IR for our cabinet. These options are available at the bottom of this list. Here we have the full list of preloaded IR cabinets, each with several microphone position options. Let's add the KP underscore one IR for this preset. This IR replicates the sound of a Krampus original cab, with it being mic'd up one inch away from the amp. From here, we can start adding effects to our patch. This can be done the same way that we have added the IR. Let's add a noise reductor to help keep the volume in your chain level. Next, we can add a drive effect before the amp simulation. Now a reverb effect after our IR. And finally, a flanger in between our noise reduction and drive. Now that we have our patch started, we can swipe down from the top of the change amp slash effects screen to get back to the main screen of the G11. From here, to perfect this patch further, we can use the change our effect order to move effects around within our patch. Scroll to the second page and add or remove effect blocks to our patch and rename and edit our patch settings. The G11 can be used to create the ideal effects patch for your sound in any situation. For more information and product updates, please go to zoomcorp.com.